Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Michelle. And we're the Tom Foolery Fun Club. And welcome to another edition of Straight Out of Tom Foolery. We're working our way through the pandemic. Uh, the quarantine is yes. not quite finished yet, uh, but we're getting close. Yes, almost there in the home stretch. Right. Yes. So what's been happening? Well, you know, a lot of people that we know have had some family members or them that themselves have been affected by, you know, COVID-19. Mm-hmm. We've been really fortunate, but we have had someone close to us, um, someone we like to call family. Absolutely. We want to send out a big hello and a big shout out to our great friend and amazingly talented comedian, yes. Marcy, the one and only Deloney. Uh, yes. we've un- we understand that Marcy was uh, recently uh, diagnosed and treated for COVID-19 uh, in the hospital for several weeks. Yes. But she's back home now, and she's on the mend. So, yes. hey, Marcy, we love you, sis. Yes, keep her in positive person thoughts, please. No sooner do we get some Tom Foolery Fun Club events mm-hmm. back up, but we're going to have Marcy back with us, and this should be our headliner. I think that's um, that's a done deal right there. Yes, I agree. Great. Over the last several weeks, uh, we've been talking about some things that we can do to help sort of ease the stress mm-hmm. of the quarantine. And we've yes. come up with some ideas of some things to do and some things not to do. Uh, we came across an article, uh, once mm-hmm. again, in a uh, world-famous publication, The Reader's Digest. Yes. And uh, this this article was written by a therapist. A therapist. Licensed, certified therapist. Got the diploma on the wall and everything. So these should be good. But we're going to go mm-hmm. through these today and uh, we'll you know, either say yes to them or... Uh, Maybe we'll pass. We'll right. See. So here are six suggestions, not from Tom Foolery Fun Club. No, the, we don't. Uh, we don't sanction these yes. uh, yet, but we might. Um, well, let's just start. <laughs> sure, we'll start with number one. Okay. So this therapist thinks that it could be a good idea to um, connect via seance mm-hmm. with um, your quarantined ancestors from the nineteen eighteen pandemic. So our, our grandparents, or maybe your great My grandparents, um, yes. kind of see what they're up to uh, during that night, which was a very, uh, that was a disastrous yes. pa- pandemic, by the way. Uh, many, many more people perished uh, right. during that time period than uh, what we're experiencing right now. Right. Uh, I don't even think my family was in America. I think they were like in Portugal, Spain, and, and, and Mexico. They weren't even in the United States. Okay. Well, so again, it was a worldwide pandemic, too. Though, right. That, uh, but they uh, would have been in different places. Yes. So you'd mm. probably have to speak a different language right. to them yes. if you were to say and connect with them. Understand with them. So is understand that something you think you'd want to do? Is connect with your uh, your ancestors that way? And no, uh, I would pass on that. You would pass? Yes. I think I'd say yeah. Okay. Uh, say yes, yes for me. I'd like to kind of find no. out what, uh, what what Grandpa Bilek was up to. <laughs> To see what he was doing. I, for some reason, I had, I think he probably wasn't quarantining himself. He was probably out, you know, up to some mischief. Yes, that's where you get the rebel streak. Perhaps. Yes. Yeah, so that, that's a, a thumbs up for me. Um, knit a bad hair day beanie. Are you into knitting? <laughs> Did we talk about knitting last time? Yes. Knitting a mask. Uh, yes. But this, so if you have a bad hair day, you can knit yourself... I keep doing the hand yes. <laughs> I don't even Knit yourself know. a beanie <laughs> and wear the beanie. I can't see under any circumstances where I would no. wear a beanie for anything. Good hair day, bad hair day, no hair day. I just don't think I'll that's my... I'll just go with a scrunchie. As Maybe a, a baseball cap and a scrunchie and a yeah. ponytail. I'll, no, I'll let, pass. Pass. Yeah, so Passing on, that, pass on so. that. Here's a good one. Take the best bath ever. Ooh. Like soak all day if you want to. All day long bath, huh? Well, that might be a little extreme. Yeah, that could Slightly. be a little You know, I'm more of a shower person. Uh, bathtubs, at least in my house, are kind of small. I you know, built a long time ago. And uh, just something about soaking in a puddle of soapy water for any length of time. <laughs> doesn't excite doesn't you doesn't really all. appeal to me. You know? No, so I'm, I'm passing. Oh, I don't know. I could maybe not soak all day. That's a bit extreme. But um, maybe with some bath bombs and stuff. I, I don't know. Okay. I, some, might, I might try that. Some bath oil beads? Yeah. Okay. Let me try that. All right. So that's a thumbs up for you, thumbs yes. down for me. Yes. Um, fortify your immune system with green juice, mm. a produce packed smoothie. What do you think about mm. that? I like that kind of stuff. You know, I, mm-hmm. I like shakes and I do some protein smoothies and throw some chia seeds and some spirulina, which is that deep, dark green kind of powder, wheatgrass, and along with some fruits and veggies. Um, mm-hmm. I would say yes. I, I would, I'm trying that. Okay. Well, I, I do enjoy the smoothies. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I like, you know, do the bananas, the strawberries, the raspberries, right. um, scoop of peanut butter. Uh, yes. I, but something about the green doesn't really appeal to me. But oh, it's if good. we can leave out the green, then I'm, I'm all in for uh, for, for a fruit. Filled smoothie for a smoothie, a meal replacement. Uh, yeah, um, you know, let's face it, uh, 
it's been a long haul here and yes. packing on a few pounds. So whatever it takes to uh, <laughs> to shrink the old waistline. I'm to get rid of it. those yoga pants. Stop wearing them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just stretch with you. The next one is do a hair mask. I uh, don't cut your bangs up, please. I, I did that one time and it was devastating. Mm-hmm. I still have scars from that experience. I, I don't think there's any good, good at the end of the road if you cut your own hair. Just, no. That's just me. Now, what is a hair mask exactly? A hair mask is kind of a creamy substance that you would kind of remind you of like a hair conditioner, but you kind of put it in in between washing, then you hair mask, then you would condition. You leave it in for about five or ten minutes, and it just kind of helps get um, product out of your hair and cleanse your hair from buildup. Does it mask. take the color out? No, no, it doesn't take the color out of your hair. Okay. It just kind of strips the because product. Because as, as you know... Yes. I've been accused falsely of coloring my hair. Right, of dyeing your hair. Well, so, you know, you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little older. You know, let's face it, I'm, I'm going to be 60 this uh, summer, 6-0. Mm-hmm. And uh, people ask me, say, hey, Tom, you know, what's with the hair? You know, where's, yes, where's the gray? I know, and mostly men. Men are the ones that are kind oh, of yeah. jealous of that. Uh, well, I, I don't. Yes. I don't no. color my hair. No. Um, and okay. there's a reason for that. Uh, when I say I don't do that, uh, for, for one thing, I, I don't lie. I'm not, I don't like to lie. You don't tend to lie. And, and if I were to tell a lie, it would be much more creative. Than, better than that. Yeah, so I uh, don't do that. Right. No, he does have a couple of new grays, but they're so sprinkled you can't even see A couple them. of parts. Well, ask my barber if, yes. uh, if there's any, uh, any right. doubt. But yes. uh, hopefully we can lay that Yes, and, and your barber even wondered himself, because I go to the same um, hairstylist, and he said, you know, I was wondering... If Tom dyed his hair, but he was really like looking at it and yes. he said no. Yeah, I think no I've gained his trust. Yes, you have yes. gained his trust now. Anyway, what's next? Upgrade an old t-shirt with tie-dyeing. That kind of sounds fun. Tie-dyeing, I yes. I do have tie-dye stains on my basement floor because we did do that. Oh, you did do that. A couple weeks, no, maybe months ago. Okay. I recall doing yes. that, you know, when I was a kid, you know, like maybe in the late 60s or <laughs> early It was kind of a big thing, you know, kind of the hippie right, movement, right. tie-dye shirts. It was kind yes. of fun. Yes. Uh, a little messy. It so can be, messy. be prepared. I mean, like you say, do it in your basement. Don't do yes. it on your hardwood floors or uh, um, on the carpeting. Right. Um, so, but you know what we could do? I I did a massive painting project in my downstairs oh. basement. Recreated like the maker space and the gym space since the gym's not open. Painted those walls. It was a forever project. But um, we could go make merchandise down there. I got a heat press, Cricut machine. Kind mm. of um, redid my maker space down there. So make some T-shirts, like yeah. printed T-shirts. Yeah, I say make some T-shirts. Um, what about like beer, beer steins and coffee yeah. mugs and things like that? Yes, I already have that stuff cut out. Okay, to make them and I have the glasses. So well, we can make some merchandise in in lieu of any Tom Fullery events coming up here. Yes. We're going to need some income here. Uh, very soon. Yes. Um, in fact, they may be cutting the lights off here at any time, so we probably should wrap up this podcast for right. <laughs> Nip's ghost said they wouldn't be cutting lights off. I think they're giving everybody a little grace period on that <laughs> yes. right now. Hopefully, they give us at least another yes. six, eight months. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yes. I'm Tom. And I'm Michelle. And we're the Tom Foolery Fun Club. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Um,